Hi guys and welcome to 3D Printing and Design. Now in this lesson I'm going to show you guys how to make linen. So we have linen here in Tinkercad. I made them earlier. But I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step process on how to make them. So he's pretty easy and I'm going to be going through it pretty fast. So I'm going to be doing a uh, pretty quick version. Alright, so the first thing as always, I have a picture of Lytton that we'll be designing off of. He's pretty easy to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag in a half sphere. I'll make it black. Okay, and then let's make it a little bit smaller because this is going to be his foot. Alright, and then as always, we drag in another cylinder. Let's make this also um, smaller as well. I'm going to turn it black. Then the next thing, of course, shorten that because we're going to have a little bit of repeating pattern of red, black, red, black. So let's make that kind of short. We'll, uh, we'll move, we'll duplicate, move this up like so. Shorten that down, we'll make it red. Duplicate, let's make that a little bit taller. Make it black. Duplicate. Yeah, let's make that shorter, make it red, and then duplicate again. And then finally we'll make that one black. <clears throat> yeah, let's make that a little taller. So we have one leg of Litten already done. Let's do, let's group this together. Just going to hit group. Now change to one color. So the next thing I'm going to hit multicolor right here on our color palette. Then I'm going to do uh, essentially the same thing, duplicate, 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 and we have four legs. So let's go ahead and position those four legs, so something like that. He might be a little bit too tall. I rotated by accident, and here we go. Okay, so we have our basic shape now let's get the body on i'm going to use a sphere and stretch it out stretch that out now i have seen uh, other people do cylinders and other things i i personally like the sphere for the body and i think it looks the best but you can definitely experiment with other shapes for the body i even seen someone use a round half roof for the body instead that's basically it for the body. Now we're going to do the head. So he has mostly a round head and some red on the bottom of some eyes. I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to take a sphere. Let's move this up and kind of stretch that out. And again, I'm making everything proportional. So it looks about right. Yeah, it looks about right. Let's make that red. Oh, I meant black. Sorry about that. Let's make that black. And again, as always, I'm changing my views. And this is kind of where I make my edits. Then I'm going to, let's duplicate this. Let's make this part red. Okay. Make it a little bit, uh, something like this. Let's stretch that. Make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to stick that out because we look at Lin. The bottom half of his face is going to be red, and the top half of his face is going to be um, also. So uh, is black, and about there is good. I also do like it to stick out because he does have a nose and uh, a mouth area. So that's how. We're that's about that for Litten. And let me show you the finished design, of course, as always. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and group these two. So I'm holding Shift and clicking both objects, grouping them together. I'm going to hit multicolor like this. Okay. Now let's do the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm going to use, let's use a round roof, mirror that upside down. Then we'll do, of course, as always, we always do, you know, one side at a time. And let's kind of compress that down. Now his eyes are yellow. Just like that. Okay. 
And I'm going to check for... I don't want a hole. We want this. Ah, uh, dang. Okay, here we go. Just like that. Might even rotate it slightly. Maybe like 9 degrees. Because if you do look at Lyddon, some of his pictures and eyes are slight. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Maybe it's too much. And then for his eyeballs, it's going to be black and then red. So let's also do that. So we hit control C, control V. <laughs> Make this, uh, actually I'm going to delete the other one. Uh, let's move this and then check again. So it's going to be red and then black. Okay. So we're going to do red. Let's duplicate that. This up. We'll flip this upside down. Hmm, I'm not super happy with it. Well, let's we'll see. Let's see how it looks. We'll make this part uh, black. Then we'll go ahead and group that together. Make that multicolor. Let's move this into his eye area. Move this kind of back. I do want it sticking out. You will see why. Okay, then the next step is we're going to kind of cut this back in inwards just like that. Okay. Now let's see what else what else do we need to do? Let's do his nose and mouth. So his nose, I'm just going to use, let's try a sphere. I use a triangle a lot, so I'm going to try a, try a sphere this time. I'm just going to have it stick out very slightly. Maybe about that much. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's do the mouth. Flip that upside down, and let's go ahead, move that, make that, a little bit more adjustments here, and try that. That looks pretty good. Let's turn it to pink. Okay. The other way you can do it, um, I kind of like it, is just a W. Let me show you how that's going to look. And then we'll make this black. But if you make it kind of small and kind of tiny, I think the W looks pretty good. So you can try that if you want. I'm actually just going to stick with a pink mouth like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. I'm going to flip all this over just like that. Okay, that's why I always say work one side at a time and then just go ahead and duplicate things over now next important piece of any design is of course centering your shapes so that they look like they're centered up okay that looks pretty centered to me now i'm going to delete this w okay so this next part is I'm gonna to have to cut someone's facial his face back so it will look like this more or less. I'm going to duplicate the head. I'm gonna move the head over here. I'm gonna turn this into a hole. Let's drag a box into our work plane and we'll bring this uh, down. We're gonna make this a lot bigger than the uh, head like so. Then I'm going to highlight both shapes. I'm going to group them together. Now remember the order of operations is very important and then I turn it into a hole, okay? So I need to make sure that the um, that I made the hole group with the box and then turn the box into a hole afterwards. I'm going to put this over. Now watch carefully as I try to center the 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 cavity that I just made over his head. Now I'm gonna tr I'm gonna group everything together. I'm gonna be up oh, my undo. I'm gonna group everything. Being careful not to select his body. I mean I could group his body and hide it, 
but yeah, this one works too. Um, let's go ahead and group that together to see how it turns out. Oh, man. So unfortunately, one of his eyeballs uh, showed up and the other one didn't. Sometimes that happens. I don't know why. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, if it does, then uh, you know you have some other options. Let's ungroup his eye and see if that fixes the problem. And we're going to put that, we're going to carefully put that over. So here, let me show you the other way of kind of doing it. We're going to group everything here together. Okay. Then we're going to hit hide. Then we'll go ahead and be able to easily group the shapes that we want together. Uh, now both of his eyes left. Okay. So we're going to have to do it uh, another way. So let's move this out of the way. Let's uh, let's go ahead and regroup his eyeballs, the inner parts of his eye. We're going to make that multicolor. Uh, let's hide that. Let's hide this. Okay. So let's move. Uh, what happened to the other thing? Uh, I'm going to duplicate that. I'm, I thought I copied that. Okay. Let's move that out of the way. All right. So let's do this twice now. Okay. So I'm going to move this uh, box over. I'm going to group. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and hit show all. Okay, then I'm going to rehide the body, move this over his head, and then recut these eyeballs. Hopefully they show up this time. We're going to group that together. Come on. There we go. Now we have his little eyeballs in there. Okay, good. Let's work on his ears next. Now you have a couple options. I personally like the uh, paraboloid, and but if you wanted to, you can of course use a cone. But I think the cone is slightly too pointy for his ears. So I'm going to rotate this again. I love just working on one side at a time. Let's duplicate that. And then just kind of move the duplicate back. We'll make this black so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Put that over his ear. We'll make the adjustments, uh, you know, proportional to his head that we made. We'll group that together just like that. Okay. Multicolor. And then we're going to, uh, let's just do Control C, Control V. We're going to mirror this like so. Said mirror like so. I accidentally misclicked, and that's all right. All right, and then you can, of course, um, there's some like little hairs on top, so there's two little hairs. So, uh, same thing, I'm just going to use a paraboloid, but I'm going to make this one a lot smaller than the ears. I'm going to turn this black <laughs> just like that, and then let's duplicate. And there we go. So it's starting to look like Linton. Almost done. And then the next part is let's work on his whiskers. So I like working like this. Okay. And then let's take this roof right here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's rotate it. Uh, let's change our view so that it won't keep... Uh, resetting itself okay and then we're going to rotate it another 90 degrees just like that we're going to refer back to our picture so we got one two three okay so let's do let's do that and i want it to sit something like this okay i'm going to move this down until it sits like about right here so it's going to be the middle one Let's turn this red. Let's turn this ah. Let's turn this red. Okay. Rotate this one that way, and then same thing. Again, I'm always going to build one side at a time, just like that. Then I'm going to group that. Let's go ahead and group that together. Now I have his whiskers. Okay. Then let's move this up into 
His face area. It's kind of make it a little bit smaller. It's just like that. And of course, we're going to uh, be a little bit lazy. We'll duplicate and repeat. We'll move this over to the other side. Let's go ahead and mirror that over. Uh, and of course, try to. And then let's, yeah, let's rotate it this way. Rotate it this way. I think that's how it is on the picture. Yeah, it's usually rotated a little bit down. All right, let's go ahead and show his body. Now let's finish off with his tail. I'm going to, you can do his tail uh, any way that you want. But of course, I think I like this extruded curve right here. Uh, right there, just like that. Okay. And then let's look at his tail again. It has like some kind of spikes. I wonder if there's any like three spikes here. I don't think I, let's just make it ourself. I personally like these uh, paraboloid. I think it gives you uh, most of the points without having it too pointy. I mean, the pyramid could work as well and the cone maybe, but I, I think the uh, paraboloid would work just fine for our needs right now. And then, of course, we're going to count how many he has. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's do one, two, three, four. Okay, and then let's start rotating them um, to the correct orientation. So something like that, something like this. Move this down over here, and of course. Let's rotate this one all the way like that. Let's make this one, because I'm pretty sure the middle one is the biggest one. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose. All right, let's change. Let's group all of that together, and then let's make it black. Then let's go ahead and stick it onto his rear end. Move this uh, up. I'm going to have it kind of maybe sticking out a little bit we'll move this onto his rear hand and then if we want to oh, what happened here that was weird and then we will uh, oh. come on you should rotate rotate let's move this back and there we go that is Litten so thank you so much for uh, designing I know it went fast hopefully you guys Follow along and pause the video, but that's pretty much Linden right there. So, see you guys on the next one. Don't forget, uh, there is in there is uh, live classes on Zoom that I teach. So check that out in the description, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.